Therefore, Kenya Kwanza now have a majority. And that's how they managed to win the speaker elections. And they you now impose their person as a speaker of the National Assembly. Uh, those, the, the, those, if the judiciary was right, those, those elections should have been nullified. Because those people who had moved, they were elected in Azimio, should not have been allowed to participate in the elections. Because they had defected. And under our laws, if you move from a party that sponsored you to elections, you are required to resign or lose your seat and go for a by-election. That has not happened. So now Kenya Kwanza is enjoying artificial majority in parliament. Then they went on again to now raid the other parties. You've seen members of ODM going to state house, announcing that they are going to work with this Kenya Kwanza government. You are elected on an ODM ticket. If you want to work with Kenya Kwanza, resign, go back for a by election and be reelected and come back. Then they related now our other new party, Jubilee. Several members of Jubilee announced that they are now going to work with Kenya Kwanza. They are moving away from the new coalition without following the process that is provided for in law. You cannot just announce, Azimio is a coalition, there's an agreement. If you want to remove, you must follow the process. Because the leadership of Jubilee is very much still in Azimio. But members of Jubilee Party, who are elected in the Jubilee Party, the Azimio are now sitting on the other side of the house. So now you see, Parliament has completely been compromised. They are enjoying a, a division majority in Parliament. And now they can pass all the laws that they want. Bills are published. They're taken to the State House. Members are called there. And they 